DreamWorks Animation has officially dropped the first trailer for their next feature film, The Bad Guys, based on the book series by Australian author Aaron Blavy. In this video, I'll be breaking down the trailer and going over what we can expect from the film. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below, it does wonders in getting my content out there, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all my content. That's right, the marketing campaign for DreamWorks Animation's next film has finally kicked off with its very first trailer, which just happens to also be our very first look at the film. The film is based on a series of children's books by Australian author Aaron Blaby, which have spent well over 100 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. There are currently 14 books in print, with a 15th on the way in early 2022 and a further 5 to follow after, leaving a wealth of content to adapt into a potential franchise. The film seems to be loosely based on the first book in the series, though DreamWorks looks to have devised their own story and take on Blaby's concept. The film follows The Bad Guys, a group of career criminals who try to turn straight as the good guys, though they soon learn that they are very good at being bad, but very bad at being good. Amongst the insane cast that has been assembled for the film are Academy Award winner Sam Rockwell as Mr. Wolf, Mark Maron as Mr. Snake, Craig Robinson as Mr. Shark, Aquafina as Ms. Tarantula, and Anthony Ramos as Mr. Piranha. In supporting roles, the film will also feature Zazie Beetz, Richard Ayoade, Alex Borstein, and Lily Singh. DreamWorks has described the film as a Tarantino movie for kids, and a heist caper comedy with all the cool of Ocean's Eleven. Also noting that they've made sure that the stories have been aged up to make for an everybody experience. Crafting a film that is self-aware, smart, classy, cool, deliciously clever, playful, and one that doesn't take itself too seriously. In two words, it's set to be sophisticated and stupid. Ahead of the trailer's launch, thanks to the incredible teams over at Universal Pictures and DreamWorks, I had the chance to chat with Aaron Blaby about the film, and asked him about the process of adapting the books into a movie that is accessible to all audiences. Yeah, uh, look, I've, like I said, I've been across it from the from the start. And in terms of the tone, like, you know, when you say stuff like, you know, when I use the, you know, expression Tarantino for kids, that's always been there. And I think it was just a matter of them f fleshing that out. And I, w material for kids only works as far as I'm concerned if it works on two levels where, because often in a book, you know, it's a, it's a parent and a kid reading at the mm -hmm. same time. And you want both to be having an equally satisfying experience. So transferring that to the screen, it's, look, we were very, very fortunate from the beginning. The, the screenwriter, key screenwriter on the movie is Etan Cohen, mm -hmm. who is top of my list for writers on this because I was always a, I've been a big fan of uh, like so many of the projects that he's written over the years, Men in Black 3, Tropic Thunder, all that stuff. He just is a really funny writer. Mm -hmm. He's just done an amazing job, and there's been another couple of writers, um, Hillary uh, Winston and and uh, and Yoni Brenner, have done an amazing work on it too. So yeah, look, it's a, it's um, it's a it's a collaborative process in terms of my contribution to that. With each draft of the script, with each cut of the movie, I'll deliver my notes on it and things that I think are working great, things that I, you know, make can make suggestions on. And um, and then they get pulled in with the sort of, you know, there's a kind of an inner circle of creatives who are working on it. And they've been so inclusive and so receptive and so respectful throughout the process that that's kind of blown my mind. Because you never know. You can never know what kind of team you're going to be getting and whether they just go, well, you're, you're the author, thanks, but off you go. And that yeah. hasn't been the case at all. They've been wonderfully inclusive. I, f I genuinely believe they've made a really, really cool movie. In a presentation reel I was lucky enough to view for the movie, DreamWorks have described the film as being inspired by movies like Ocean's Eleven, Baby Driver, Mission Impossible, Never Say Never Again, Deadpool, Trading Places, as well as, of course, Tarantino flicks like Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. And from the trailer, this couldn't be any more 
obvious, with the movie looking to offer up an exciting, quirky and stylistic action comedy, with good humour and huge action set pieces. I'm loving the character designs here as well as the wildly hilarious fourth wall breaks and moments of Tarantino-esque dialogue. DreamWorks has also said that we can expect a catchy, energetic soundtrack which is on display in the trailer. You can most certainly see the Oceans vibes as well, with the film centering around a major heist at a gala event. Having read a few of the books and having seen a decent portion of the upcoming film, I'm really happy to say that Blaby's texts have been translated to the screen incredibly well. As seen in the trailer, certain scenes have been ripped directly from their pages in a way that is simple to envision while reading the books. On the film's translation from page to screen, Blaby had this to say. You know what, when I did the right from the very first First one, I thought, because my my greatest passion, greatest love is is, is movies and cinema. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just a gigantic movie nerd, have been my whole life. And with this, it was a process of me going. I am. I did very deliberately thought I'm going to put in a book exactly what I would imagine to be yeah. the cool movie I could imagine for kids. So it, yes, you're absolutely right. It reads like a storyboard for yeah. a movie. Um, and of course, I think everybody picked up on that really quickly, and it's probably why it has translated with relative ease because yeah. there was a kind of a template to work from. Yeah, um, it doesn't mean it was you know it's an easy process though, and the 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 team has found a, a wonderful way to when you for kids who know the book series intimately. Mm-hmm. They will see differences in the storytelling, but the DNA is exactly the same. They will feel like they're in the same world, but it just will be, you know, bigger and, you know, a big, gorgeous, full colour CG thing. All in all, I couldn't be more excited for The Bad Guys. I wasn't entirely familiar with Blaby's works previously, but having now read a couple and having seen a preview of the movie, I can easily say that this is comfortably within my most anticipated animated flicks of next year. I'm loving everything about this from its quirky style, its terrific voice cast, and even its gorgeous animation, which really does feel like a storybook. This is DreamWorks Animation's first original film in a number of years, so it feels like something a little different to their regular fare, and I'm super excited to see the studio tackling something like this. Bad Guys will be opening in cinemas globally in April of 2022, and I'll have some more coverage on this one closer to the film's release. If you'd like to check out my full interview with Aaron Blaby, you can check it out at the link at the end of the video. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the biggest cartoon news, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more regular installments like this. And if you're keen on diving deep into the history of all your favourite animated characters, don't forget to check out my continuing Cartoon Evolution series linked at the end of the video. And at that, I'm throwing it over to you. I want to know, are you excited for DreamWorks Animation's The Bad Guys? And what are you hoping to see from the film? Fire away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.